Hello and welcome to Best Binocular Reviews. My name is Jason. In this video, I just wanted to show you a couple of examples of the image stabilization feature in action on the Kite APC 16x42 binoculars that I currently have in for testing and review. As you can see, the setup that I was using was really basic and just consisted of my camera mounted onto a tripod, so that was steady. But then what I would do is handhold the binoculars and bring them up to the lens of the camera and film through the binoculars. In this way, I could swap between turning the image stabilization feature on and off on the kite binoculars and thus give you a pretty good idea of what you can expect when you actually hold up the binoculars to your eyes and use them in the normal way. So to begin with, here's some footage of our environmentally friendly grass cutters out in the fields to the back of our house that I captured earlier on this morning. So here with the image stabilization turned off, you can see that the image is very juttery. And then here I switch the IS on and you can immediately see that that shakiness disappears. And whilst yes, there's still movement, it's far more fluid and you can definitely see that the image is far more stable. Then once again here, I turn the IS off. Now admittedly, this amount of image shake is a little exaggerated when compared to holding them up to your eyes in a more comfortable position. But I do think this gives a better indication of just how effective the IS is and just what difference it makes when you turn it on. Right, time for a change in subject. How about those power lines off in the distance over there? So at the time of making this video, I'm just finishing up the testing and thus the full review of these Kite APC 16x42 image stabilization binoculars will be up on the BBR website fairly soon, the link to which I'll put in the description down below. Right, so let's do a quick test at close range and take a close up view of some of the leaves in this hedge. Right, so I'm gonna leave it there for now, but I think you'll agree the image stabilization on these binoculars is pretty phenomenal. However, for the full review, which will contain way, way more information and include details on the, the body, the handling of the binoculars, the field of view, and, and loads of other stuff like that, as well as comparisons between these and other similar um, binoculars within this um, image stabilization niche, please be sure to check out the link down in the description below. Also, if you'd like to be sure to see that review as soon as it goes live, please be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell button on the side just so that you'll be notified. And as always, if you have any comments, ideas or suggestions, please feel free to use the comment section down below and I'll do my very best to get back to you. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Say thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Cheers for now.